Hello viewers, welcome back. In today's video, we are diving into the fascinating world of fluid mechanics. Specifically, we are going to explore ventrimeter and the flow nozzle flow meters. Whether you are a curious learner or a chemical engineer looking to enhance your knowledge, this video is for you. So let's get started. Before we jump into the details, let's first understand why we need to measure the flow rates of fluids. Well, in various industries such as chemical process industry, oil and gas, even water distribution, uh, accurate measurement of fluid flow is crucial for process optimization and efficiency. That's where the devices like ventrimeter and flow nozzle flow meters come into play. So this is our second lesson about differential pressure flow meters where we are going to discuss first ventrimeters and then flow nozzle and then we will see uh, the uh, advantages and disadvantages of each type. So let's begin with the ventrimeter. The ventrimeter consists of three main uh, sections, an inlet section and then uh, a constricted throat after that uh, an outlet section the inlet section has a gradually converging shape leading to the constricted uh, throat which has smaller cross-sectional area after the throat the outlet section gradually uh, diverts and returning to the original uh, pipe diameter that we are saying here downstream so well when the fluid flows through the ventrimeter it encounters the narrowing section that is the throat area according to the bernoulli's principle as the fluid's velocity increases in the uh, constricted section its pressure decreases so this pressure uh, drop across the ventrimeter is something that allow us to measure the flow rate the pressure difference is typically measured uh, using uh, pressure taps or ports located before the uh, ventrimeter at the upstream of the pipe where I, in this diagram we are saying it P1 that is the higher pressure uh, uh, port uh, where the velocity of the fluid is uh, lower and uh, the area that is the a1 is the cross-sectional area of the pipe and the second port that is uh, uh, at the throat point we are saying the pressure here is p2 that is uh, uh, the low pressure and uh, v2 is the velocity that is the highest uh, uh, velocity and a2 is the uh, cross-sectional area of the throat so uh, by comparing the pressure at these two points the flow rate can be determined using the flow measuring equations uh, which are uh, usually actually which are derived using the equation of continuity and uh, uh, simultaneously solving this equation with the Bernoulli's Allah, then you will have these uh, two final expression for the flow measuring uh, uh, equations for ventrimeter. Well, ventrimeters are commonly used in various industries, including chemical process industry, oil and gas, water uh, and wastewater application, where the flow rate measurements are crucial for the process optimization and control. Well, here I would like to emphasize that these flow meters are particularly useful for measuring the flow rates of clean liquids or gases. Moreover, they may require calibration or correction factors to account for different flow conditions and fluid properties. Well, this is uh, the introduction of ventrimeter. So let's move to the flow nozzles. It is similar to the ventrimeter in principle, but it has a slightly different design. Flow nozzles are often used in the applications uh, where the fluid being measured may contain uh, solids or where the fluid conditions 
uh, are not suitable for the ventrimeters. Well, a flow nozzle uh, consists of a specifically designed nozzle with the uh, sharp edges, inlet and uh, uh, diverging outlet section. The flow nozzle is inserted uh, into the pipeline uh, and the fluid uh, flows through it. As the fluid passes through the nozzle, uh, it undergoes an uh, acceleration and uh, obviously when the, there is the increase in velocity, according to Bernoulli's principle, there will be the decrease in pressure and consequently we will have a pressure drop between uh, these two pores that one, uh, the point one is uh, the uh, upstream port and the point uh, two are the uh, low pressure uh, point uh, is uh, located at the edge uh, of the nozzle. So the difference of these uh, uh, two pressure that we are saying here delta P can be converted into the flow rate again uh, by driving the flow equation using equation of continuity and Bernoulli's equation by solving simultaneously. So again, I would like to emphasize here uh, what's the major difference between flow nozzles and the venturi uh, flow meter is the uh, difference in their applicability. So uh, for flow nozzle, they are particularly suitable for the application which involves dirty fluids or those containing uh, solids that could potentially clog other types of flow meters or flow measuring devices. So let's now discuss the general advantages and disadvantages of these two flow meter types. So first let's see the advantages. So they can handle large flow volumes at low pressure drop yes so in our previous lesson that was uh, related to the uh, orifice plates so compared to the orifice plates here we have minimum pressure drop so uh, these types of flow meters don't have any moving parts so they require less maintenance and they can accommodate liquids with high solid contents that I just described earlier for, for the case of flow nozzles. And the shape is inherently self-cleaning. So there is converging throat and diverging section. So uh, it will automatically clean uh, the surfaces of this meter and it may be mounted horizontally or vertically. So let's look at the disadvantages. So they require four or more pressure tabs to accurately measure the pressure difference. And uh, also they require certain lengths of the uh, straight pipe to the upstream, also to the downstream. So it means they require higher space to install uh, for flow measuring purposes and also uh, they offer low uh, fluid measuring or uh, flow measuring accuracy at the low flow rates so that's all for today's lecture i hope you like this and if you like it don't forget to subscribe and share uh, this channel with your friends until next video take care bye bye